welcome back to my channel so we are discussing endocrine anatomy now we have the adrenal gland here which sits above the kidney that's why it's also known as the supradrenal gland you can be able to appreciate the capsule of the adrenal gland this is the zona glomerulosa then you have the zona fasciculata and the zona reticularis then this is the adrenal medulla so remember the glomerulosa releases aldosterone which is a mineral corticoid then the fasciculata releases glucocorticoids such as cortisol and the sex steroids are released from the uh, zona reticularis the adrenal medulla releases catecholamines and these catecholamines include adrenaline and noradrenaline how to differentiate these zones the first zone you can be able to appreciate you have very dark staining nuclei okay with pink cytoplasm then the zona fasciculata will have pale staining cytoplasm because this is usually lipid droplets so this is fat this is how fat looks like and then you can be able to appreciate that the lipid droplets are fewer here so this is the zona reticularis then now this is the adrenal medulla you can be able to see these uh, ovoid cords that are organized and usually this pattern uh, is characteristic of sinusoidal uh, systems so usually have uh, draining sinusoids that drain the venous blood from the adrenal cortex and also will take uh, from the medullary vein so you can be able to appreciate that here you have uh, an adrenal uh, sinusoid so the embryological sources the cortex comes from the somatic mesoderm while the medulla comes from neural crest cells so the factors that affect aldosterone secretion one is the renin angiotensin system two you have the atrial natriuretic peptide which reduces blood pressure hence will inhibit uh, the secretion of aldosterone the aldosterone is also released during stress and so ACTH plays a factor in aldosterone secretion and finally potassium increase will also stimulate aldosterone release because aldosterone causes sodium retention in the body with potassium excretion so when potassium levels rise in plasma the aldosterone uh, secretion allows this excess potassium to be excreted via the kidney so here you have the pineal gland and the habenular nuclei so a is the pineal gland and b is the habenular nucleus so you have the lateral habenular nucleus and the medial habenular nucleus and so these connect directly with the pineal gland so these structures here form what we call the epithalamus and so you can be able to see this is what we call the interpedantula tract it comes from the habenula and goes all the way to the midbrain so the the thalamus usually uh, is is between the uh, pineal gland so this is the pelvis of the thalamus so you can see the thalamus there and this is the third ventricle so this is a coronal section taken at the level of the uh, pelvis and you can be able to appreciate the pineal gland so the pineal gland is made up of pinealocytes which release serotonin and melatonin melatonin in humans regulates sleep cycle and appetite in other mammals it regulates the reproductive cycle so you can be able to appreciate that the pinealocytes are the ones that uh, form the melatonin then they are supported by their glial cells and also it is richly vascularized note that the pineal gland has no uh, nervous tissue so there is no nervous tissue within the pineal gland then you can be able to identify this as the parathyroid gland so a are the chief cells which secrete parathyroid hormone and b this clear uh, cytoplasm these cells with clear cytoplasm these are the oxyphil cells and currently their functions are unknown so the location of the parathyroid gland the superior parathyroid glands are a centimeter above the inferior thyroid artery while the inferior parathyroid gland uh, will be a centimeter below the inferior thyroid artery so the inferior thyroid artery is the landmark and if you go a centimeter above you get the superior parathyroid glands and uh, a centimeter below you find the inferior parathyroid glands and so these will be found behind the thyroid gland 
So thank you. If there is any question, you can leave them on the comment section below.